In the conservative pre-feminist days of 1950s movies, women were broadly divided into the categories of whore and Madonna. Blonde and brassy Adele Jurgens, who has died at age 84, was definitely in the former camp more often than not playing what was euphemistically referred to as good time girls, such as saloon singers and gangsters malls. From being tough-talking to plump-cheeked, peroxide blonde who gave her fair share of tawdry trouble in backstage dramas, film noir, and adventure yarns, Adele Jurgens was just as headstrong at trying to bust out of the chorus lines and cheesecake parts to becoming a top-notch A actress draw. So today, we will be paying tribute to an icon who left a respectable Hollywood legacy for the host of hard-as-nails babes that did leave an impression. Early Life Back on November 26, 1917, in Brooklyn, New York, the youngest of four to working-class Norwegian parents, she was christened Adele Louisa Jurgens and started her youth as a sports-minded tomboy before setting her young teen sights on an entertainment career as a dancer. After years of study, she earned a scholarship at a Manhattan dance studio, and following her graduation from Grover Cleveland High School, the knockout-looking 18-year-old found her way into the Broadway chorus line of the Mossart Cole Porter musical Jubilee, which introduced the classic Porter songs Begin the Beguine and Just One of Those Things, and starred Melville Cooper and Mary Boland as the King and Queen and a young Montgomery Clift as Prince Peter. A blonde in the making. After a few years of working as a model and chorus girl, including being an understudy to Gypsy Rose Lee in the Broadway show Star and Garter in 1942, Jurgens landed a movie contract with Columbia Pictures in 1944, with brunette Jurgens becoming a blonde. At the beginning of her career, she had roles in movies in which she was usually cast as a blonde floozy or burlesque dancer, as in Down to Earth starring Rita Hayworth in 1947 and The Dark Past starring William Holden in 1948. She played Marilyn Monroe's mother in Ladies of the Chorus in 1948, despite being only nine years older than Monroe. She played an exotic dancer in Armored Car Robbery and a Criminal's Girl in Try and Get Me, both in 1950, and appeared in the movie Abbott and Costello Meet the Invisible Man in 1951. She had a part in The Cobweb in 1955, directed by Vincente Minnelli and starring Richard Wood Mark and Lauren Bacall, and worked in the 1950s radio show Stand By for Crime as glamorpus Carol Curtis with her real-life husband Glenn Longan as Chuck Morgan. Her show was stolen. After a lull, the former World War II pinup, once nicknamed the All-American Girl by the men of the 504th Parachute Infantry, was now being billed by Columbia as the Eiffel and returned to the musical genre with the fantasy Down to Earth in 1947. Rita Hayworth plays a heavenly muse who was disturbed by a Broadway musical below the clouds that is mocking Greek mythology. Turning mortal, she takes things into her own hands by replacing the show's tough-talking original goddess Adele Jurgens in order to manipulate the proceedings. Adele gets to tap and sing, dubbed by Kay Starr, before she is fired. There is more to me. Outside of musicals, the hard-looking blonde, especially when her hair was let down, started making headway in crime dramas and film noir, starting with a nifty featured role as a glamour girl in The Corpse Came C.O.D. in 1947. She followed that with hard-boiled roles in I Love Trouble in 1948, The Dark Past in the same year, Edge of Doom, Armored Car Robbery, and Side Street, all in 1950. For the most part, however, it was the usual over-served hash that, while keeping her busy, also kept her locked in the B-support ranks. The Prince of Thieves in 1948, Law of the Barbary Coast, Slightly French and Make-Believe Ballroom in 1949, Aaron Slick from Punkin' Crick and Somebody Loves Me, both in 1952. Treasure of Monte Cristo the 1949 Treasure of Monte Cristo was notable for the casting of Adele and future husband Glenn Longan. One would think that gorgeous Adele would end up a divorcee many times over, but she and Longan, who wed on October 6, 1951, 
stayed married until his death almost 40 years later. The 1950s, following good parts like Sugarfoot in 1951, but far more routine ones like Beware of Blondie, The Traveling Saleswoman, and Bluesbusters all in 1950, moved Adele into TV work. Later works after having son Tracy in 1953, Adele took a brief break from her career, then resumed it and found work on such programs as Dangerous Assignment, The Abbott and Costello Show, Mr. and Mrs. North, Make Room for Daddy, Public Defender, I Married Joan, Favorite Husband, and The Burns and Allen Show. Co-starring on film with husband Longin again in The Big Chase in 1954, Jurgens worked for a couple more years, then left the business, as the quality of her movies diminished with tawdry roles in Fireman Save My Child and The Miami Story in 1954, The Lonesome Trail in 1955, Girls in Prison and Runaway Daughters both in 1956. The end of her career was marked by Girls in Prison for which the ads promised 1,000 trapped women ripped from steel cages by a shattering earthquake. It was time to make as slinkingly graceful an exit as she could. She never returned, but her husband continued his career until the early 1970s and also dabbled in real estate. Final Days Glenn Longan died of cancer in 1991, and their only child, 48-year-old Tracy, who had become a film technician, died in 2001 of a brain tumor, which devastated the actress. Adele's health declined quickly after her son's death. Retiring from the screen in 1956, she died on November 22, 2002 from pneumonia in her Camarillo, California home. Her death came just four days before her 85th birthday. She was buried beside her husband and son at Oakwood Memorial Park Cemetery in Chatsworth, California, under the headstone marked Longan. Though she left the silver screen early, Adele left a benchmark for upcoming stars to follow. Did we miss any facts in this video? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.